We've got a landing area which comes out from this door right here. And I'm told that the barbecue is going to sit right there and there will be a landing or a pad out here. I am walking on the little patio and there will be a bridge element running right through here. The bridge will come across the pond here and then we will take some stone steps and snake them back this way. Now, as you walk across the bridge, you come here and kind of meander this way, bringing you down to a sunken fire pit, which is where I'm standing on the edge. As you pan this way from the back side of the pond, the pond will overflow at a negative edge somewhere right in there and it'll almost be like a little three four foot stream into a waterfalls which will sit here and then our basin is going to sit right in here along the edge kind of nestled into this sunken fire pit area which will be a bluestone chip fire pit Good morning, everybody. What is up? It is Chris at Team Aquascape, and we have a beautiful, beautiful fall day here in Chicagoland. Actually, I shouldn't even say Chicagoland. We're probably about an hour and a half west of the city right now, and we are loving life. I am standing in the middle of the backyard that we are going to be using as our canvas for the day. The view behind me is going to be where the project is going to sit. It is a new construction build, which we get probably about 50% of the time anymore. So we're either doing rehabs or renovations, or we're doing new construction. The thing I love about new construction is we are going from a blank canvas to a completely finished painting rather than taking an old painting putting it up and giving it a new facelift let me turn the camera around and show you what we're working with so this is the back side of the house we've got a kitchen window there looks like there's a dining room space attached to the three season room there's going to be a sphere incorporated into the pond which will sit somewhere over there and the 11 by 20 pond will stretch across this way with a waterfalls 6,000 biofalls starting off a waterfall dumping into the pond there there will be a bridge element carrying you across the pond to some steps to a circular sunken fire pit area here there will be a negative edge on the pond where the pond overflows into a little waterfalls and the reservoir will sit right around here that way as you're sitting in this sunken fire pit you have a waterfall facing the fire pit so it gives you something visual to look at in combination with the sphere which will sit over here also the reason for the negative edge and the pondless reservoir that is what's going to be our skimmer the negative edge will set the height of the water level in the pond and that's going to maintain the skimming action as you can hear behind me we've got illinois brick as always Always on time and reliable delivering our stone we've got probably about 15 tons of boulders for this project it's gonna be a granite feature I believe we have some ledge stone steps why don't we go check out what's going on all right so the boys just showed up we're gonna get everything unloaded start working our way back that way we've got Glenn from Illinois brick unloading the last of the stone that pile is getting bigger but it will get smaller by the end of the day I promise you that first thing we're gonna do is get our equipment off the trailer that unhooked then we'll start unloading all the product and get that plywood out that we have underneath so we can start making our plywood path so we're not damaging the existing grass the calm before the storm see we've got Corey and Ryan and Matt still in the hole they're just kind of fine-tuning some of the final excavation Ryan's over here cleaning out any of the little rock or gravel or anything sharp or any obstruction not really obstructions but things we should look out for when putting the fabric and liner in to prevent any holes from being poked in the liner when we start rocking the pond in we'll get the prep done then we're gonna get our fabric in which I can see Matt is over there kind of pulling out right now then we'll get our liner in and then we will start moving all of those rocks and that pile of over there which is about nine and a half tons ten tons of boulders over here and start rocking in this pond so we are in great shape we've made really good progress just being efficient we had to build up this entire backside of the pond because everything sloped very hard away from the house right about where Matt is just to the right of him was about a foot grade change from where I'm standing to there so we ended up building all that up we did luck out we aren't gonna have to pull up that Japanese maple and raise it because we just barely lucked out that the grade right here is the same grade as at the base of the root flare of those three stems coming out for the multi-branch jet maple so we'll shave a lot of that dirt down we're still high there but I wanted to leave it high so that we can backfill against the liner as we're rocking the pond in to help with the edges and it's all pretty soft I didn't want to compact a lot of that stuff but 
We've got a landing area which comes out from this door right here. And I'm told that the barbecue is going to sit right there and there will be a landing or a pad out here. This pad, just to kind of give you guys viewing at home or wherever you're viewing from an idea of how to interact with this water feature is I am walking on the little patio and there will be a bridge element running right through here, just to the right, I guess just to your left of the tree. The bridge will come across the pond here and then we will take some stone steps and snake them back this way. Now I wanna get those steps to turn hard to the right so as you walk across the bridge you come here and kind of meander this way bringing you down to a sunken fire pit which is where I'm standing on the edge as you pan this way from the back side of the pond the pond will overflow at a negative edge somewhere right in there and it'll almost be like a little three four foot stream into a waterfalls which will sit here and then our basin is gonna sit right in here along the edge kind of nestled into this sunken fire pit area which will be a bluestone chip fire pit i know that's a lot to take in we have a lot of work ahead of us but it's baby steps moving forward so i think at this point in time we are going to rock the pond get that thing completely done before we worry about anything else that way if we were to start on the fire pit area or the the pondless reservoir and building that waterfall we would cut off access to the back side which would be a little bit of a challenge i just wanted to make sure that it could be all hands on deck just rocking the pond in when we get to a point where it's maybe 90 percent done we'll start moving over and start throwing a bunch of the retaining stones in on this back side over here and start working on the pondless portion of the pond itself hope that makes sense anywho so fabric liner and then we're gonna get rocking What up, what up? It's almost the end of day two. Well, it's the end of day two for me. Uh, things are actually moving along really, really fast out here. It's gonna be a really cool pond. Fills the backyard, I think perfect and very to scale with the backyard, but still pretty impressive on the size and, and how much is sitting out here in the space allowed. I'm gonna kind of turn this thing around, show you where we're at and what our goal is tomorrow, just to get this thing wrapped up. We were hoping to get it wrapped up in two days, but uh, just with some complications, it's gonna take us three, so so be it. We got Juan, Matt, Corey working on the seam. We were hoping to get, just do an overlap here here, but aesthetically the way this worked out originally our pond was gonna end in here right in this area and instead of having the pond end here and then a lot of stream before our negative edge we decided to make the pond a lot bigger which then caused us to seam these liners together so we added about six feet of pond over in here and then we've got a little bit of stream before it cascades down towards Chris you can see Chris kind of finishing up the reservoir down in here pumps are installed plumbing's done he's just back filling a little bit looking for a little hand for me let's just give him a little hand here <laughs> <laughs> Udi got the pumps installed, but we're gonna have a great little waterfall coming from where uh, Juan Udi is there, down and through here. And then tomorrow we're gonna concentrate on our stone steps leading to our fire pit area here. You can see Ryan and Matt Benner up here finishing up the upper patio. We're just gonna do a crushed stone patio. They're nice and easy for us. We just throw in some steel edging, get some landscape fabric down, and then they'll have a nice little pad. Grill's gonna sit over here. Enough room for two chairs right here looking out over to the pond. Pond, but look at how cool this is gonna be when it's all finished. In fact, let's go into where their view matters. So from inside, their screened in porch. They'll get to see a great waterfall, kind of over in that back corner there. They got a sphere up and close, lots of light on it. The bridge leads them down to that sunken patio. The bridge sitting right there, leads them down to that sunken patio with a quaint little fireplace sitting over there. Not until they get down there will they actually discover those big waterfalls facing down towards them, which will be really great. I'm loving the way it's turning out. Can't wait to fire this thing up tomorrow. Well, I've been spending most of my day out here working on this waterfall and really it feels like most of the day. I got here like around 10, had some things we had to change, which I hate double work, but uh, it was worth it in the end. And I'm just gonna kind of show you why it's taking so long to do such a simple, what I would think of as a simple waterfall. So the challenge with this one is when I first got here, the biofalls was set down quite a bit and it really needed to be set down a little bit lower to keep the berm away from the house but the height they was set at only allowed us for a six inch high waterfall which is insignificant and not even worth having one at that height they really wanted to have something visible
hole from over in there. So as soon as I got here, I ripped that out, had to redo some of the plumbing, get that up higher. Now we're closer to about a 15, 18 inch high waterfall, which leaves us some flexibility. The reason this thing is so complicated and, and tricky is because it's right off the edge of the pond. Building a waterfall right off the edge of the pond is so much harder than that biofall set back two to three feet getting a drop and then creating another drop. The reason it's hard is because I have to, I'm forced to stack rocks to get up to the height I'm at. Even this rock here, as tall as it was, isn't as high as the biofalls, which requires, you know, that would be my frame rock and then I'd have another frame rock in there. It's just kind of piecing this, these granite boulders together and it can get complicated with granite boulders because they're so round. None of them are tall enough for the, the height that we want and they can look a little weird when put in here. Now I'm not too worried about those two, which are really sticking out to me right now because there's gonna be a big sheet of water that comes over hiding what's supporting that rock. The ultimate goal with this is to have another little flat pancake rock there, some type of rock here to split it, another big rock sitting on here, and then like a weep area that comes and gets this rock wet. So big rock here, and then like a little tributary thing that comes down, really just getting that rock wet, and then we'll get another big one in here. That's the goal, that's what I'll tackle tomorrow. Wish me luck, but it's always easier to set that biofalls three to five feet back rather than right on the edge. So when you have that opportunity, push that thing back. I'm telling you, based off of experience, makes so much more sense.